I want to let you know that uh, over here on the west side, there's some baby food. Executive Director of the Central Okanagan Community Food Bank, Lynetta Perry, is busy on both sides of the bridge, at the helm of an organization that helps provide relief, hope, comfort, and support to many of this area's hungry families and individuals. I'm just holding the tray steady for you. That's good, thank you. Yeah. With the merger of the West Kelowna and Kelowna Food Banks came some powerful changes. Once the amalgamation was complete, with it came a cohesive process. A now large team, instead of two small ones, working out logistics and streamlining operations. We are seeing less food waste. We're able to share resources in a better way so that our clients are better served. We have better purchasing power. We have more leverage for things like advertising. The costs are more efficient, so we're able to put that directly into programming. But with all the changes that came along with the merger, one thing stayed constant, and that was the need to feed those with not enough in our community. Between the Kelowna Food Bank and the Westside Food Bank, we serve about 4,000 individuals per month. And the stats is still about similar, about 33% are children under the age of 15. People who use the food bank can be any walk of life. We see babies, we see seniors, we see homeowners, business owners. We're seeing a trend in uh, students using the food bank. No one's exempt from possibly having to use a food bank. People lose jobs, people sometimes have to use their savings or they use up their RSPs and just find themselves in having no choice but to, to use our services. Last year we ended up getting a list of products that you needed. Volunteers with the BC Thanksgiving Food Drive are gearing up to help replenish the food bank shelves with items that are in critical demand, like size 4 diapers, whole wheat pastas and canned goods. Technically, you don't even have to leave your home to participate in this food drive, as volunteers drop off bags for people to fill, and then they come back a couple days later and pick up bags which folks have left in an obvious place. Our BC Thanksgiving food drive uh, is one of the largest ones that we do aside from our Christmas drives and it's really important so that we can fill our shelves and get us through the Thanksgiving season and into Christmas. We've been asked to do 25% uh, more than last year and last year we would end up putting out an, like an average of 100 bags, we would pick up 20. What we're trying to do this year is pick up 25 bags. That's only 5% more per person to have to pick up and bring down to the food bank, but that'll be equal to 25% more than we did last year. Last year, I had a gentleman that had three young sons. He was a single parent, and he came over and practically hugged me, thanked me all over the place, and he says, you know, I lost my job. I need this to feed my kids. It helps the people that need it. Bags will be dropped off in the days leading up to pickup, which is September 19th. From Kelowna, for Shaw, I'm Tammy Williams.